This is home to retired couple Peter and Meyer Welton, busy doing nothing as they enjoy their retirement. But on a summer's afternoon in 2009, their peace was rudely shattered. We just heard this almighty noise. It sounded as if my kitchen cupboards were coming off the wall. The noise had come from the roof. Within minutes, Peter found himself scrambling up his ladder to investigate. It was a right mess everywhere, all on the floor. You see daylight up in the roof, and I can see the hole now. Good heavens above. My granddaughter was behind me, and she saw it right there in that corner. She went to touch it, and she said, Granddad, it's too hot. But if we hadn't boarded out the loft, he would have come straight through exactly where my great-grandson was sat. I hate to think what would have happened. Bizarrely, what Peter and his granddaughter discovered was a small, solid object that had smashed through their roof. So hot that it had to be brought downstairs with oven mitts. They quickly called the police. About 20 minutes later, when the police turned up, they were laughing coming down the drive. And I said, yeah, you think I'm the balmy woman? So they said, yeah, what is it? But once they took a look at the mysterious missile, they stopped laughing and took it away. The police passed it to the military, who passed it on to several universities, who passed it on to NASA in the US. Four months later, their findings left Peter and Meyer flabbergasted. The object that had crashed into their home was man-made and had come hurtling down from space. High above us are dozens of satellites, discarded Apollo parts, and bucket loads of bits and pieces, all left over from our mere half-century orbiting the planet. One of the Air Ministry blocks that I was speaking to, he said, there's so much stuff up there, he said, that is floating around. He said, it could have been up there for a decade. There isn't much space in space, it turns out. It's full of junk left behind by us. And thanks to constant gravitational pull, it's all heading our way. It's Heiner Klinkrart's job at the European Space Agency to worry about these things. Throughout the year, maybe something like 60, 70 tons of material are falling back to Earth in an uncontrolled fashion. That's a scary enough prospect down here. Up there, it's potentially catastrophic. The latest estimates suggest there are upwards of 500,000 small, medium, and large objects in near-Earth orbit, all traveling at the speed of mini-missiles. 